So guys, welcome to your 12th PHP tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to add an element to an array. Now like before, when we went over an arrays in the last tutorial, you see we just typed the arrays one after another after another. And to add an element we can do one of two things, we can just go in here and type our next element, or we can do something that's a lot easier. So let me go ahead and make a simple array. Uh, let's just start from scratch, actually. Um, we'll make another array called name. And for the parameter 0, we'll set it equal to Tom. And then let me just add a couple here. Name. Um, we'll give this parameter 1. And we'll set it equal to Greg. And for the last one, name parameter 2 equals Mike. So now we have an, an array with three values, 0, 1, and two, 2, with three different names. But say we're typing along, we got some code later on, and we want to add another value to an array, but we don't want to add it right here. And you'll see why this is useful later on. I know it looks worthless right now, but to do this, you can do this in two two different ways. So say we echo it on the screen. We echo name zero, and this is going to give us, of course, when we echo the value of Tom because it's in zero. But say we wanted to add another element to the array. All we need to do is simply type in our next element which would be 3 and we can add an element right there it says Matt so now we have a third element in our array we can of course go down and use that so now our array has four elements and this is how you add elements to an array when you're not directly working on the array and this is useful when you're later down on the code. And another way to do this, for some people, if they don't know the number of the array, say you got a long string of an array at the top, and you just want to add it to the end, but you don't know what the number is, you can put an empty, two empty brackets, and this will automatically give the value of three, which is the fourth element in the array, of math and you don't have to know the number or anything what two empty brackets does again is automatically put this element in the last value of the array so it does all the work for you pretty much and the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to replace an element so we got this right here and as you can see when we echoed the word Tom came up but say we don't want it to be Tom anymore say we want zero to be the name Bucky and as you can see we have two right here and since PHP reads, reads from top to bottom it says alright this is zero one two echo that and then it says alright now this is telling us we got a new value for zero now so forget about the old one we've got a new value so let's just see what happens when we echo the name zero. Remember it was Tom before but now we tried to change it. So let's save that. And as you can see the first time we echoed it was Tom but the next time when we changed it it was Bucky just like we wanted to. So this just simply typing in again replaces the element in our array but keeps all the other ones the same. And to use this in an associative array, all you need to do, let's get rid of this. So we have an associative array with some text. Actually, we'll use one we did before. We'll type in fingers, and we will set it equal to hand. And now, if we had another value, we could exchange that 
for our new value. So say we had, um, well, let's say we had got rid of this, and say we had an associative array, a long string of text up here. The empty bracket in hand would add the value hand to the end of the array. So again, to use an associative array, just instead of a number in your bracket, just type in some text and it'll give that value a new value with the associative array. And again, all of this is how you add an element and how you can modify an element in your associative arrays. And this will be a lot more clear when I'm actually using it in something useful and just not typing a blank associative array with nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it, sorry. So, if you watch my next tutorials, this will all start making a lot more sense. Thanks.